Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Mehdi. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you five attractive and appealing fragrances that will definitely help you to smell your best in fall 2022. Without any further ado, I want to start by House of Valentino. I have here Valentino Humo Intense, a powdery, semi-dark and sweet fragrance with prominent chocolate, leather and iris. Smells amazing, expensive and very inviting. I prefer it for dressed up situations, night times, it is better, suits better those type of situations, performance is very good and projection of CIG is huge. At number 4, a pretty well known fragrance from House of Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP, there is also EDP version but I can get better results, reactions and performance out of EDP. So it is airball to my nose without being barbershoppy and uh, green let's say although it has a green basil touch to it but it is not a green green type of scent it is only a touch or kick let's say to this one coriander cardamom it is spicy sweet type of fragrance with touch of i can say tobacco away at the background and gets woodier at the dry down so to my nose this one is oriental spicy type of fragrance with a very well balanced sweetness at the base smells very masculine has some sort of age factor to it to my nose performance is good six to seven hours let's say good six hours on my skin with first hour hour and a half average moderate type of projection and siege at number three from house of george armani armani code absolute i really enjoy to wear this fragrance but for whatever reason i don't like that much to review it it is a very crowded type of fragrance i like that complexity different atmospheres notes and accords in this fragrance it smells sweet not a well-balanced sweetness it is pretty sweet let's say to this one tiny powdery i can get like irisy powdery some sort of chocolateish vibe is available there and it is suede and uh, leathery let's say at the base with a very great performance at number two from emporio armani stronger with you the regular one not the other versions there is a ton of different versions flankers on this fragrance a successful dna but not the most creative dna i have to say it is somehow inspired to my nose it is a woody sugary and nutty fragrance has a semi gourmand type of scent profile i can feel a burning vibe at the background of the fragrance which gives to it a transparent smokiness performance is good less something like seven eight hours plus on the skin with first hour hour and a half average projection and siege at number one from house of dior dior sauvage elixir one of the most grown up let's say versions of dior sauvage gets me compliments but not as much as edt edp or other versions of sauvage to be honest it is a dark freshy type of fragrance leans more to the dark side i say fresh because i can get ton of lavender here licorice cinnamon it is spicy sweet and oriental type of fragrance with prominent licorice and lavender performances out of this world take care guys